I haven't done laundry in like three weeks. But she's just a grumpy girl. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. So she's like, let's do something at 2.30 instead. I look so pale right now, like I desperately need the sun. Finally cut off those strings from the bikini. Good morning. I look terrible. That's okay because we can't look good every day. I literally just woke up. Okay, I want to sleep in until 10, but then my cats woke me up and now I just have no choice of being awake. But like, why wake me up? and then proceed to go back to sleep right after waking me up. They didn't even stay awake for me. It's currently like 9.30. I went to the gym on a Friday night and I feel like people who go to the gym on Friday nights are just like very committed to their workout split. And my body is used to doing other things on Friday nights, not necessarily, ew, my hair is disgusting. I have like no plans this weekend other than preparing myself for my vacation. I don't think I'm gonna really put on any makeup because I am getting a massage. Finally! My posture is so bad. I like lay down like this scrunched up and I know it was my new year's resolution to not edit my bed But it's so hard. So my massage is at 12. Thinking of after I get ready, I go to Value Village I want to see like if they have any cute vintage things and then on top of that I think I also want to go to like Walmart. I want to get like a BB cream I feel like when you have a tan your skin looks so much better. Ugh, I just need that in my life because I'm so pale right now mm, My skin is having an allergic reaction. I also am gonna do my nails because because last time I did them was a while ago and they're very very grown out. I'm thinking of like a mini little like French tip. I'm gonna do it myself because I'm trying to save money. Desperately need to do laundry. Is it kind of bad I've been saving my laundry to do it in this video? I haven't done laundry in like three weeks probably. I'm desperate in the socks and underwear department right now like so desperate. I also only have one bathing suit and it's like you only need one bathing suit. No bitch I need more than one bathing suit. I just need to pack a lot of stuff and none of that stuff is done so I'm not checking any luggage. I have to be very minimal with the things that I choose to bring. Honestly, I don't need that much. My clothes are tiny. As you can see, like this top is tiny. I was so sad. I forgot to make my overnight oats last night. I can't show you guys, but I guess I can show you tomorrow. Oh, I also need to like shave my legs real bad. Epilate these armpits, even though there's not really that much hair on them. I hope you guys are all doing well though. I'm just in a good mood because I don't have to go to work next week. I'm all by myself this weekend. So it's almost like a little productive weekend in my life, which I'm excited for. I feel like I do really like to spend time alone now and I feel like I used to really hate it. I think what I like more about it now is that I bring you guys with me so I just don't really feel alone and I don't feel Aww. lonely so thank you guys so much. If you haven't already make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you here. I post every Friday. Okay I'm gonna finish this real quick. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara and then we're gonna head out. Okay I got changed. This is a very weird outfit. Not what I usually wear. I also kind of hate these leggings. OG Gymshark leggings and they just don't have like a gosset. I feel like that's very uncomfortable that I did that on camera but whatever if I put my legs together they get like weird bunching but I really like the color my hair in a ponytail my hair is so greasy right now I'm trying to save it for tomorrow I'm trying to hit legs one more day before I leave I might actually have to stop outside and like defrost my car and if I just warm up my car I won't have to brush it that's a weird noise So slippery outside. I've almost fallen like three times. I don't like this. It's too slippery. Ah! Uggs was not an appropriate footwear choice for me. There's like literally nothing good in there. And they didn't have anything summer, obviously, because it's like winter right now. We're gonna go to Walmart now. Also, I'm pretty sure a lady walked by me and she said, get out of the way. Like when I was literally walking straight. People are fucked. Why? If you don't put your shopping cart back, you are a bad person. There's just something about people who don't put their shopping carts back that irks me so much. Someone else has to go fucking put that back now. And also you're like letting it slam into other people's carts. Anyways, I'm off to get my massage now. I guess I'm gonna have to go to a different Walmart. I was hoping that this one was gonna be good. I'm kind of sad. Value Village and Walmart today are just both duds. Like there's just nothing good about them. Also super starving right now. Hopefully I just pass out during my massage and I'm a happy girl. mascara like all came off
so I just finished washing the dishes. Here's Luna. If you guys don't know, this is my old grumpy little kitty, but she's just a grumpy girl. She's probably gonna bite me or some shit. Can you give me a lick? Give me a lick. <laughs> Thanks. Look, do you see how angry she's looking? She looks fucking pissed. Luna, it's only three o'clock. I think I want to go to the mall and look for a tinted sunscreen and then a swimsuit of some sort. I want to go to H&M. Luna, look how big you look compared to me. You look the same size. Oh. Luna, you have dandruff on you, like literal dry skin flakes. Are you okay? Do you need a bath? I just know it's going to be so, so, so fucking busy at the mall. Like on weekends, the mall is just not the place to be. My massage was so nice. Usually massages for me are like painful. I'm always like, can you go a little lighter? Cause it's fucking hurts. But this lady gave like lighter pressure, much more enjoyable and relaxing, which I appreciated, especially before vacation. Put enough pressure. I probably could have, bruh. Am I boring you? Next time I go back, I think I'm just gonna ask her for a little bit more pressure. I hate when I have to like squirm around and I'm like tensing. Am I that boring? Anyways, let's go to the mall. I can't believe you're turning nine, Moo Moo. Look at how cute she is. Okay. Ah! to show you guys everything that I got. <clears throat> Let's start out with the first thing I bought. I just got the Garnier Whole Blends Honey Treasures Shampoo and Conditioner for Aiden and I to share. Also got this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for, oh, for oily skin. I have always been super interested in the CoverGirl BB Creams. I did buy it a little bit darker because tan very easily, but this stuff is pretty sheer. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I feel like I put it on and I can barely tell it's on. Next off was Ardenes. I tried on that white and like olive green flower bathing suit. Just like way too expensive for a swimsuit. There's just no way I'm spending over a hundred dollars for things that barely cover my nipples and my ass cheeks. Okay. So I was like, let's just check Ardenes. It's cheeky, but it's not a thong. I really like this pattern. It did have two different types of top, this triangle type top. And then they also had the one that was more of like a sports bra. I find that triangles just like look way better. If I wear the bandeau type style, it just makes me look very, very wide and doesn't do anything for the girls. Don't know how I feel about the middle ties. Like I might end up just like cutting them off. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. Bioderma sunscreen. This one's the nude touch one. Very, very sheer tint. This is what it looks like. I also picked up a body wash. I've been wanting and dying to try the native body washes. I got the citrus herbal musk. This smells like a dude. I can't wait to see how it pairs with the citrus mint body lotion and then the lady was actually super super nice it was like let me get you some samples so that you have some stuff for vacation philosophy purity face cleanser a little serum and then she also gave me a little perfume it actually smells really really nice let's make some ramen let's eat some food what the fuck why did you do that Kind of fucking weird. He just body slammed into that. It took so long. I kid you not for the last two hours. What soda? Soda's been like crying this whole time. They're very cute, but that just took so long. Going to a salon is so much faster. Is it even worth it to do my own fucking nails at this point? I don't think I'm gonna do anything else tonight, to be honest. It's like 10 o'clock. Wow, the lighting's so much better if I just turn that off. Kind of want to shower because I feel a little bit nasty. The movie was really good, actually. It was just like nice to have on while I'm eating and like, you know, just chilling. Maybe this is better lighting. Yeah, here you go. This is better. I just did almond French tip. I was gonna put little hearts on them, but I just don't have a red and the pink that I was using, you can't really see it. So then I ended up just wiping it off. It wasn't worth it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll give you an update if I end up doing anything, but I also need to finish editing my video. What is this pimple? It is 
Sunday. Just changed into my workout clothes. I'm getting my socks on right now. I need to do one more session before I go on vacation. I haven't done a fasted workout in a while and I've been very lightheaded every single time I work out. So now I'm a little bit paranoid. I will bring you guys with me. I am in a little bit of a rush because I still have to do laundry and then I'm seeing my friend for coffee at one. But I also want to eat before then and I have to put my clothes in the wash. The reason why I decided to do the overnight oats was actually because I knew I was gonna be in a rush. Yay, the gym. Woo, 9.30 gym session. Hello, I'm home now. If you guys don't know, yesterday was Chinese New Year, but my parents are actually gone. They're giving one to Aiden, so I'm just collecting that right now for him. That was a really, really good workout. I decided to start doing like the German 10 by 10 volume training, 10 by 10 of those hip thrusts. In dire need to shower now, I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna shave my coochie and my legs because they both just need a good self-care moment right now. I probably won't get ready, but I'm gonna try the tinted sunscreen because I wanna see what the coverage is like, especially because now I have a spot to test it on. And I actually learned that if you get freckles, which I actually have heard from a bunch of dermatologists that a tinted sunscreen is better because it offers more coverage in that area. So it protects it more from the sun. Aesop hair mask thing felt so nice in my hair. I moisturized my whole body. Just went back into the shower to shave my fucking cooch because I forgot. I love hemp. It's so expensive. You can actually buy hemp at Walmart Canada now. They're like $21 and I feel like that's very expensive, but I do like the texture and I feel like the scents are really nice. There we go. What is wrong with this? Oh, I see. I think I broke this. Well, that's not good. It just got in my eye too. We're trying the tinted sunscreen now. My friend actually messaged me being like, I'm gonna run a little bit late. So she's like, let's do something at 2.30 instead. Literally perfect. Oh yeah, I wanted a dermaplane. Back to the original plan. Super light coverage, like you literally cannot even tell. You can still see all my like little marks and stuff. Cream cheese. And there we have it, some voluminous hair. Okay, so I'm done getting ready now, but I do have to pack, so here's my carry-on. I did check the weather in Florida and it's beautiful. Ah! 27 or 28 degrees. I'm thinking of packing my skincare and my makeup now just because I have like 30 minutes. These are some things that I have. I haven't completely finished. I'm gonna give these to Aiden because it's gonna be easier for him to travel with these. I look so pale right now, like I desperately need the sun. I'm changing really quick. I'm gonna meet up with my friend. I just changed. I'm wearing this brown top from Brandy Melville, ribbed pants and I'm gonna throw on Uggs because I'm lazy and want to be comfortable. I love these pants that make the booty go bah! I'm back home now. The wind kind of like fucked my hair up a little bit so it's not as 
curly or voluminous. I just talked to my friend for a little bit and we got a little Starbucks. We were only really together for like an hour and we're just talking about life, how our paths kind of like diverted and changed over time, where we're going to now and like what we're doing now and stuff like that. It is currently four o'clock. I got a pistachio latte with oat milk and it was really, really good. I would recommend if you like pistachio gelato and stuff, like you will love this. I figured out all the liquids I want to bring, but in terms of makeup, I'm honestly not bringing a whole lot. I'm bringing like one blush, one bronzer, but I'm going to quickly pack now for like what I want to bring to wear like I said it's gonna be like 27 28 degrees don't know if you guys want to wash me pack but I might just do like a quick little run through and I need to check out my laundry been a little while finally cut off those strings from the bikini just didn't want the tan lines and i thought this looked cuter in love with this little bikini the first bikini i'm bringing very cute i love this color i usually never wear blues this is the second suit i'm bringing it's from h&m it's very cute it's very girly florally with pink and yellow but has a white background it has little frills under here just edited for a little bit so no, no stop it every morning this is what i wake up to stop it do you guys hear what i have to deal with uploaded and scheduled my video for this coming friday just because i don't want to have to like rely on so he thinks i'm talking to him but I'm talking to you guys. Aiden just finished hockey. I'm gonna quickly run to Walmart to grab some things, but then we're just getting sushi after. I'm gonna end this vlog here. And the next time I see you guys, I will be in Florida. So I'm gonna record on my camcorder and on my phone as well. I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching and packing and spending a productive weekend with me. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love all of you guys. See you in Florida.